What's up, Mopar fam? It's your boy at Fred Easy. What's going on today? On this beautiful day, we'll be changing the oil on a 2008 Jeep Grand Cherokee WK with a 3.0 CRD diesel engine. All right, let's get it. Tools of the trade today are car ramps or floor jack, a 13 millimeter socket and ratchet for the oil pan drain plug, a 10 millimeter socket for the engine cover, a large oil filter band wrench, a pick or a flathead screwdriver for the oil filter O rings, and an oil drain pan. For the oil, we'll be using 10 quarts of 5W30 full synthetic with a 229.51 spec, which today will be Liquid Molly Longtime High Tech 5W30. If you deleted the DPF and retuned the CRD engine, you can use any 5W30 synthetic oil with MB spec 229.31. Perfect. Sweet, now that we got our tools and oil filter together, let's get at it. First, let's warm up the CRD for at least 10 minutes of idling so the oil is warm. After that, let's go ahead and drive it up car ramps and turn the engine off. Next, let's pop the hood, remove the oil fill cap, and then let's remove the two 10 millimeter engine cover bolts and remove the engine cover. After that, let's head out into the Jeep, place the oil drain pan under the oil pan drain plug and remove the 13 millimeter drain plug to drain the oil. While the oil is draining, let's head back up top and remove the oil filter cap using our large oil filter band wrench and remove the old oil filter. Let's go ahead and replace the two oil filter cap o-rings. I used a pick, but you can use a flathead screwdriver. After that, install the new oil filter onto the oil filter cap and set it aside. Alright, that should give us enough time for the oil to drain. Let's head back down there and install the oil pan drain plug. It would be a good time at this time to wipe down any oil down there. Okay everyone, home stretch. Let's add 5 quarts of oil into the oil fill hole and then let's go ahead and add 5 quarts of oil into the oil filter housing to coat the bearings on that side of the engine. It fills slow on that end, so let's just be patient and then let's go ahead and install the oil filter. Finally, let's go ahead and reinstall the engine cover and the oil fill cap. After that, start the engine and let it idle. While it's idling, let's go ahead and check for leaks. After that, let's go ahead and reverse the Jeep off the ramps Turn off the engine and let it sit for 15 minutes. After that, when all the oil is settled, let's go ahead and check the oil level and then top it off as necessary. Ah, after that, now it's time to clean up and have a beautiful beer. Thanks for watching everyone, hope this helps. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.